The last seven years have just been the best. I have a distant memory in my head of the time before we were together, feeling a bit directionless and unsure of things in my own life. That turned around completely when we started going out seven years ago. We often joke how little we have in common with each other. Our general hobbies and interests couldn't be more different. Matthew's love of chess, the fact he lives and breeds Liverpool for football, in sharp contrast to my reality TV addiction. You wouldn't think we were destined to be the perfect match for each other. Despite our differences, there is no one I'd rather spend time with than you. I am so at ease in life because of you, to such an extent that sometimes I genuinely think I have it too good. Although you're such an outgoing and sociable person, my favourite times are, times are when it's just us hanging out together. Be that travelling around some foreign city, sharing our love for food in some new restaurant, or just watching some show on the couch, you make me so content. Matthew and Quiva, you have affirmed your commitment and love for each other in front of your family and friends. You have made a promise to each other to live in this union as husband and wife. Today, tomorrow and forever gives me the greatest of pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Quiva, I don't mean to contradict anything that's said in their speeches today, but you know I don't believe in soulmates and I don't believe in fate. But I do believe that the people that come into your life shape you and make you who you are. All I can say is that you make me and my life better in every way. I know I can come to you with any problem and you put me at ease. Anything good that happens, you're the first person I want to tell. I think over time my love for you has grown more and more and I can't wait to share the rest of my life with you. Matthew, you are my rock. You ground me. You calm me. No me feet, as the majority here will attest to. You are everything I have realised, I never realised I needed and I would be lost without you. I always tell you, Matthew, that no, I love you more. And to be honest, I don't think I can ever express that enough. So if I could ask everyone to raise their glass and share a toast to the love of my life, my husband, Matthew. On the final day of the Premier League last season, <laughs> Liverpool were still in the hunt for the quadruple. Across the front of the matchday programme was printed the words, these are the days. Now there are plenty of United fans in here to remind me of how the season ultimately ended up. <laughs> But still, something about those words resonated with me, and probably more so because of the disappointing end of the season. No one knows what the future holds for us, and I'm sure along the way we'll have plenty of ups and downs. But what really matters is that we embrace and cherish days like today when we're in them. These are the days. So with that, I'd like to raise a toast to the one, the only, my wife, Quivo O'Donnell.